All right, number 10 was uh, the Gable Vaughn girls basketball team making their, their first ever appearance in a state tournament. Uh, great story there. They were four seed in their own district and then uh, came in uh, with a very young team. And, uh, and yeah, they had a rough state tournament, but uh, what they accomplished to get there is, uh, was a pretty good, uh, uh, pretty good thing for their, for their school. And uh, the next one is also girls basketball related. And that'd be uh, the Why Not uh, Lady Blue Devils winning a fourth consecutive Class D2 title. Uh, just a tremendous run for them, and uh, they're off to a good start again this year. Okay. Yeah, number eight is going to be the USD building projects, which includes the basketball, volleyball arena, as well as the track and uh, outdoor track and soccer complex. So there's a couple of different areas that uh, USD broke ground for over the summer, and yeah. it's a $66 million project, so there's a lot of um, a lot of legwork that had to go into it. So that's why it was maybe lower on the list. Last year it would have been higher, but the, the groundbreaking was the news of this year. This is USD pole vaulter Emily yeah. Grove. Um, of course, we've talked USD pole vault many times. They had a national champion the year before in the outdoor meet, and this is Emily Grove. Indoor national, the Division One indoor national track meet, she got second, and uh, that was just an amazing run. That was a big hire for USD to lure him in, and you know their season is a month and a half in, and they're trying to build to, to compete for the Summit League tournament. So Craig Smith comes in, number six. Number five on our list was uh, was Pasika's okay. resignation and uh, and Trey Career taking over. I uh, Pasika uh, been a part of yeah. Yankton basketball for a long time. Uh, he did get his 300th win uh, at the end of last season. Uh, was recognized for that recently. Uh, uh, Trey Career coming in, uh, and he had had success. He kind of started the pro the building process in Gabriel Vaughn before he came over here, and uh, is is a young man that's going to have some success uh, with this programming year. You're, you're already starting to see some uh, some progress uh, with this team uh, from last year. Okay, number four on ours is uh, Yankton landing the uh, World yeah. Junior Archery Championships. Just an amazing get for uh, for this community, uh, and it's gonna gonna basically take over the community for a, yeah. for a few days. <laughs> Uh, next summer, and uh, just the world, Yankton being on that kind of world stage, uh, I, it's not something uh, you thought possible five, ten years ago. Yeah. Number three was uh, the year of the Croft and Lady Warriors, wow. in, uh, state championships in basketball, track and field, cross country, a runner-up finish in volleyball, and that's a lot of the same kids. Uh, just, yeah. just an amazing year for those athletes and uh, uh, ba their basketball teams back at it again this year, seven and all. Uh, just beat Sioux Falls, Washington. So, uh, so uh, I, you can expect another great year uh, for Croft and uh, Croft and uh, yeah. women's basketball. Number two was uh, Yankton winning the 11 AA uh, uh, title, I and mean, they uh, might have had it a little higher if it if it wasn't if it was uh, a little more of a challenge. Okay. I mean, they they, uh, <laughs> they they pretty much ran the table. They got tested a couple of times in there, I and mean, they had a, a couple of really nice wins in there, uh, including the championship game, very good championship game. But uh, but we had it number two. Beating South Dakota State, that, that really set them up when they when they you can beat your rivals and they literally they honestly pounded their rivals in the semifinals. <laughs> beat Denver in the championship game, got to the NCAA tournament. That is some incredible national exposure. Um, I think that's probably what tipped us a little bit was the that you're talking a national exposure. USD was on, you know, a national television playing Stanford pretty well. Um, and so, you know, that, that was that was a tough call for us going one two, let alone even three, two, one. That was that was a tough year, but that's what these lists are about. You, you, yep. you want a tough challenge. You don't right. want easy picks.